Hey guys, Ben from Living Survival, and I got a couple products from Multimat today, so stick with me. So I've used several products from the Multimat company, and I do really like them, so I'm going to show you a couple of them today, including the uh, compact uh, sit mat that you guys have asked about because it's shown in a lot of my videos the mat that I sit on and kneel on while in the woods I'm also going to show you a sleeping pad and then also one of their ultralight pillows So guys you've seen this a lot in my videos and a lot of you have asked What is that sit pad or kneel pad that you use in your videos? This thing is ultralight. I mean, it's It's feather light so that's nice and it packs down really easily. You can see it sandwiches down when it's open. It's nice and large for you to sit on or kneel on. So that's pretty much what I use it for. Uh, when I'm in the woods and the ground is damp or maybe I'm gonna sit on a log or something like that, I can just extend this out and sit on it. I can use this to scrape shavings into. Uh, of course, I can use it for kneeling. So these are just awesome. It's called their Compact Comfy and they're like $10 or less. They're a little hard to find because again, it's a UK company uh, for us uh, here in America anyway, but you guys uh, over there in the UK should have no problem locating uh, this and other products from Multimat. The Compact Comfy gives me an ultra comfortable way to kneel on the ground without getting wet. It is waterproof, so my knees aren't gonna get wet or anything like that. And then also, if I wanted to just sit down, you can simply just sit on it as well. So there's so many different options when it comes to sleeping pads, but the main ones are going to be your foam pads, which you can get military surplus. They basically just roll up and then lash to the bottom of your pack. You can get ones now that will fold up, sort of like the compact comfy, and then you can lash those to the bottom of your pack. So they make the foam and then they make the closed cell foam. And then they also make inflatables, which basically have some sort of aligning material on the inside or foam on the inside that expands and they inflate. Uh, so there's a lot of different options when it comes to those and then you have the larger sleep mats or sleep pads As I've showed you before like my x pad down mat Which basically has down on the inside and it inflates and those are going to be you know uh, the, the thickest of the bunch so you can get them in any different thickness You can get them long short you can get a mummy style you can get them rectangular style So a lot of different options when it comes to the sleeping pad the one I have to show you today is the Multimat Trekker 2. It's an inflatable that rolls up and then you can lash it to your pack. It's fairly similar to what you'd find in a foam pad from Military Surplus, uh, but it's gonna give you that additional bit of comfort because it is a little bit thicker. And then of course it's inflatable so you can uh, inflate it to your preference. So this is the Trekker 2 by Multimat. Now they call it the Trekker 2 because it has two inflatable nozzles here one on both sides. They do have a Trekker 1 as well, which would only have the one uh, inflatable port. Now basically it just has two for clicker, quicker deployment. Uh, you can get these in OD color like this, or you can also get them in tan as well. The Trekker 2 is also reversible so that you can put it on either side. And then when it's fully inflated, it's two inches thick, so very comfortable for an inflatable mat. Now, like I said, you can get these in the rectangular size like this, mummy size. Uh, you can get them in three quarter length, a uh, regular length like this, or you can get them in uh, long. If you're extra tall, you can get ones uh, for you as well. So basically when it's inflated, this is what it looks like. And then you could just roll this up and lash it to the bottom of your pack when you're done. It's made of 150D polyester, and then it's got a triple polyurethane coated membrane in there to make sure that it keeps an airtight seal. So just like any inflatable mat, you just unscrew the nozzles here and then let it self inflate. Now, if you wanna pump it up just a little bit more, you can also blow into the nozzles to achieve your desired thickness. So I like full length mats. Now, if you're ultra light backpacking or something like that, that's where you could go with the three quarter length uh, mummy style. You know, you can get some really, really lightweight inflatables, but of course, then the price goes way up. The Trekker 2 also comes with some repair material and sealant, and then it also comes with some retaining bands for when you roll it up, as well as a really nice stuff sack. So you can see with a full-size mat, you can lay out your sleeping bag, and this will give you a really comfortable sleep. So Multimat also makes a couple of inflatable pillows. I've got their 
ultralight pillow here. It is inflatable. So again, you have the nozzle that you just open up and inflate. If you need a little bit extra air, you can blow into it. And then this also will roll down, compress down, and has a stuff sack as well. This is Snug Pack's Merlin Softy 3. I'm going to be talking to you about that in an upcoming video. I have the Snug Pack Quartz system. It's another all weather sleep system to them, similar to the Special Forces sleep system. And I'll be doing a review on that as well coming up. So very comfortable. Keeps you well insulated and well padded on the bottom. And then also have a nice pillow. So when you're done with your sleep pad, you just undo the nozzles. So it's really nice that they give you this nice, large stuff sack for it. Once you get done rolling it up, you can just close the nozzles off and it will stay deflated. Now it's best to store these maybe under a bed or something like that. You want to store them inflated or else, you know, that'll help keep its loft uh, when you're not using it at home. Same thing with the pillow. like that. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed taking a look at some of these products from Multimat. It's awesome to have a little pillow. Uh, you can use it definitely when you're sleeping on the ground, in a tent, or even in a hammock. So no matter what your sleep system is, it's awesome to have a little pillow with you and they stow up and pack down really small. Now their mats are really nice as well. Like I said, you can go between the ones that roll up or ones that will compressed down into a stuff sack but again as you go smaller in size and lighter in weight you go higher in price. Whether you sleep on the ground or in a hammock it is nice to have a sleeping pad uh, just to support your back and give you that extra layer of insulation especially when it's cold outside. And then of course the compact comfy is just excellent. It's very lightweight, very small, folds up flat so it takes up literally no space in your pack. You hardly even know you have it in there but it comes in very handy in the field. I'm always kneeling on it as you guys have seen in my previous videos to do camp tasks, fire uh, processing and things like that. It saves my knees from getting wet. It saves my knees from getting banged and bruised up. So I hope you guys liked that video today. Please give it a big thumbs up. Leave me some comments below on what you guys think about sleep systems and sleeping pads and pillows and things like that. I'll be sure to answer each of your comments if you leave one. Make sure to share this on all your social media, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. And as always guys, subscribe for more videos. Trekker 2, the Trekker 2 also comes. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this video today and listening to all the lawnmowers and blowers in the background. I really enjoy having a pillow, especially when I'm sleeping on the ground or even in a hammock. It's great to have one of those small inflatable hammocks 